This video was requested by a viewer who asked to see our kitchen tools and also asked how often we cook in our van. I'll answer the second question first. And we cook in the van all the time. Almost every meal is cooked in the kitchen. So uh, next week, I'm actually going to do some uh, Instant Pot recipes. I'm going to do three Instant Pot recipes. I'll cook them, I'll at least cook one of them in the van just to demonstrate. But as far as our kitchen tools, I'm really glad I got that question because I needed to go through and get rid of anything that we were not using and to replenish uh, things that we needed. So here is the video on our, our kitchen tools. Okay, I'm going to first start with the, um, the cooking pans and things like that. And the first one, the biggest one, is the Instant Pot. And this is the three-quart pot. This is the three-quart pot. And inside of it is the inside pot. This is sold separately. I'll put links below. And this is great for, uh, I can cook uh, my French toast in it. I can cook cornbread, soups, um, you know, chicken. Uh, I mean, it's almost endless. Uh, applesauce, eggs, all kinds of things can be cooked inside the Instant Pot. So that's been a really big success. The three quart is really perfect for two people. And uh, I will show you at the very end when I put everything back in, I'll show you, um, you know, how it's stored. So there's the Instant Pot. And I store, so the, um, the trivet and the plug for it are stored inside here. Uh, the next item is um, another favorite pan. This one is actually, I think it's made in, it's, it's, I think it's Swiss. They're quite pricey, but the reason I like it is because I have uh, two more of these at the house that I keep at the house that are larger. This is the which size, this is called a Durotherm. And this is the, if I had my glasses, that would be a lot easier. Mm -hmm. This is the two liter. This is two liters. Although the you really shouldn't fill it above 1.5 liters. So this is this will keep food hot for a very long time. And inside of this pot, I store the two small plates and two small bowls. So they go inside like this. And then the lid goes upside down so that I can then stack other things on top of it. Part of the consideration you need to make is in um, how things fit on the burners. And that's why some of my pots may seem small, but otherwise I can't get two things uh, next to each other if I want to cook you know, two things. The next pan I have is I got this at REI because it had a collapsible handle and that makes storing so much easier. I can wedge it inside of my cabinet and uh, it's non-stick and that's great for all kinds of things you need non-stick for like pancakes, things like that. And then the next pan I have is my Ridge Monkey. This stores nice and flat. I've shown it to you before. I really like this pan because it makes it really easy to make toasted sandwiches, hash browns, anything you need to flip over can be flipped nicely in this thing. It's quite small though, uh, but it works. You know, I can get a couple of uh, normal size sandwiches in here and toast them nicely. So I really like this pan. A and again, this one will fit next to, I can put it next to another pan. I can get both burners on the cooktop. That didn't sound right. I can get both pans on the cooktop. The next thing is my tea kettle or my, you know, it's, um, I don't know, you call this a tea a kettle. It's an electric kettle. I used to have uh, just a kettle that I had purchased at REI and it, it was fine, but this just, boils so fast and it just seems to be the perfect size. So I really, really like this, uh, this kettle. And uh, it's low enough wattage that it doesn't overwhelm our inverter. 
we have a 2000 watt inverter in this uh, in the pleasure way ascent and uh, What's been, what's been suggested to me is that your wattage should be half of what your inverter size is. So if you have a 2,000 watt inverter, try not to go above 1,000 watts. And the reason is that initial surge uh, of, uh, you know, demand that your appliance puts on the inverter uh, is such that you want to give it a lot of uh, buffer space. Okay, the last pan I have is one that I actually hadn't brought along until our last trip out to uh, Anza Borrego, I think it was. Um, and the reason I thought I'd throw this in, it's a small cast iron pan. I thought it was small enough that it would fit in with the rest of our stuff. And I like uh, cast iron for um, frying like tortilla shells. So we like to make, I make veggie tacos all the time. And it's nice, I, I prefer to fry my tortillas uh, instead of buying the ready-made, although the ready-made are very convenient. And so I threw this in and so I'm, gonna, I'm kind of testing whether this is going to work out for us. Um, I kind of think it will. It's also small, so it fits next to another uh, pan. So that one's coming along. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you, you might think this is kind of weird <laughs> to take along, but I take an immersion blender. Here's my immersion blender. And the reason is I like to make cheesecake in the Instant Pot. And um, so I need, the, I need a blender for the cheesecake. I also make a lot of soups. And when I'm making a soup that I want to emulsify or to, to blend, like uh, broccoli or asparagus or something like that, it's really nice to have something, uh, an immersion blender. And it doesn't take up much space. So that's probably going to stay in the van. And then a container to... Um, so, for example, sometimes I'll get a can of, for making soup, I'll get to, uh, stewed tomatoes, and I don't want them that chunky, so I'll put the tomatoes in here because an emulsion blender, you know, will splatter everywhere if it's not contained. And so that's what this container is for. Okay, silverware. Um, I just got a cheap set, I think, at Walmart, and this was, um, so it's, you know, four knives, four spoons, and four forks, although I've already lost a spoon, so that's kind of why I don't mind having extras, because they're some, somewhere along the line we lost a spoon, and uh, it's nice to have more than just two or more than just one for each person, because when you're cooking, you're going to be using utensils and things like that, so... those go into uh, my tray which actually I found this in our attic I think it was from when our son was a kid and there was some kind of toy or, or something that came in this or anyway I don't know what it was from but Jennifer Wendland at, uh, at uh, the Wendland's uh, YouTube channel did a video recently on um, a tray that she found that was you know very shallow which you have to have a shallow one for these drawers and so I will link her video below, and you can check out the one that she recommended. It's made by Camco, which was interesting because Camco is located in Huntington Beach, which is where we live. And then also in the kind of utensil category, um, I take a straw because sometimes I, I um, will make iced coffee or something like that, and I like to drink it with a straw. And uh, a one tablespoon measure measurer. <laughs> I use this for our instant coffee. Yes, I know it's terrible. We drink instant coffee. It's just too, I've tried making coffee in many ways and I just, uh, it was just too much trouble and we're not that picky. So we use instant coffee and that's what that is for. But also for measuring things if uh, you know, I need to measure. I have a ladle that came with the, this one, I think this one came well, it came with something I had, maybe a rice cooker I had, but there is a ladle that comes with the Instant Pot. Um, this is great for soups, so pastas, things like that. So love, love the ladle. Uh, the smallest, well, a can opener. I know you can get a smaller can opener, but one that I could actually operate. So I have a can opener. I have a funnel. I have used this funnel, but I can't remember what I used it for. So it takes up almost no space, so... I take the, so the funnel comes with us, a spatula for flipping eggs and pancakes and whatnot. 
some uh, nice tongs. These are the uh, uh, Oxo tongs, which I think are the best. Although sometimes this little end breaks and that's not very good. Two, uh, two cups, I'm green, John is red. We have two coffee mugs, even though we do not use we do not use these for coffee because of spillage problems. But what I do use them for is, yeah, I'm kind of a chocoholic, and um, some company makes one that you put in the microwave, and it makes kind of a nice little chocolate uh, cake dessert type thing. And so I bring those along for that. A cheese cutter, a can opener. I haven't actually used this yet, but uh, another camper last time we were at Crystal Cove came by and said, do you have a wine opener? And I had to think about it and go, do I have a wine opener? And, uh, and sure enough, I pulled this out and that they were able to get their wine open. I have a rubber you know, spatula for mixing or whatever. I think I'm going to actually, I don't really like this one. I'm going to get something maybe a little smaller. So that'll probably go somewhere. Knives, I have, I carry three knives and I do not share my camper van knives with the house because I want everything in the van all the time so we can just basically get in the van, you know, put our stuff in here and go and not think about, oh, do I have a knife or this or that or the other thing. So I went out and purchased uh, a knife for the van. It's not the best quality, but it's a worst off, I think it is. Worse, worse off, I don't know how they pronounce that. Anyway, it's a good quality and I... I insist on a fairly sharp uh, chef's knife. So that's my chef's knife. I have a serrated knife for cooking, for cutting bread, things like that, and then a paring knife for other things. I have a, a measuring a cup. Um, I hardly ever use this. I kind of eyeball everything, but that comes along. A scraping tool because when you're cleaning your pots and pans out you don't want to use a lot of water you scrape them as clean as you can get and then you wash them so that's first that's a water saving feature I have a pair of scissors and these are absolutely essential uh, I probably use scissors more than any other tool in the van a meat thermometer an instant read meat thermometer. Now I don't eat meat, but John does. And so if I'm making chicken, I wanna make sure it's properly cooked and I'll use the meat thermometer. I will also use it sometimes to test the doneness of like a baked product. So I, you know, when I was first starting out, I was kind of experimenting with making cornbread and things like that in the instant pot. And so you can use an instant read thermometer to tell you if that's done or not. We do have two, uh, two large plates, although we quite often will use paper plates and bowls, uh, especially if we're boondocking. I carry a, a collapsible strainer that pops out like that, so I can strain um, you know, fruits, vegetables, um, beans, you know, if you're opening a can of beans and need to rinse those out. This has worked out really well. matches. So I have a box of matches and I like the longer length uh, sticks. I actually got these at REI because sometimes you can only find those smaller ones at the store at the other stores. These are these are parchment paper rings that go inside of the instant pot pan to make it easier to clean. So I'll pop those in when I'm making something like cornbread or French toast. I carry a can of non-stick spray uh, and I also carry a, an assortment of containers for putting leftovers or, or salads or things like that in. So I carry two of these larger sizes and they all have to stack together. So I have two of the larger sizes and then two of the next size down and then I have a, a teeny tiny one and they can all stack together and fit back into the microwave oven. So I keep these in the microwave. And speaking of microwaves, I uh, my sister-in-law gave this to me. This is for, so if you're gonna be cooking something in the microwave and you know how hot it gets, um, you know, you put your, let's say you're heating soup or something, you can put your bowl inside 
And then when you take it out, you've got little handles to lift it by and not burn yourself. And so that has worked out really well. She gave me, actually, she gave me a pattern um, so I could make my own. So I'm going to, I don't know when I'll get to that project, but I'm going to try making some more of these and using maybe a uh, heavier, more heat resistant fabric inside. And this has been then what I've been using to, uh, if I have a hot dish or something to handle, I can just grab this and use it like a pot holder. And then also in the microwave, I store uh, my mixing type bowls. So I have um, this, this thing, and I like this bowl because it has a handle so I can really grab it and take a, a, you know, a fork, whatever I'm beating, I can, I can work that really well. And then I have this collapsible bowl. Uh, both of these bowls I use for making uh, salads or things like that, something larger. Uh, it would be nice to have a really large bowl, but we don't really have a place to store it. So these have worked out fine. And then I use the lid from this to uh, put over things so that they don't splatter. So this is my, you know, instead of using a saran wrap or something like that, um, I use this and that's worked out well. Sometimes, uh, you know, you can use a paper towel as well. So that is stored in the microwave. What else have I missed? Oh, I forgot to bring this back from the house. I have a thermos. This is the lid to a thermos that I carry. I make um, oat groats in our thermos. So I pour the, I preheat it. I pour in the hot water at, uh, in the evening, put in the groats. And then in the morning we have uh, the, the groats are ready. Groats are the whole oat. So it's not smashed like a, an oatmeal grain is. And I just, I really love oat groats. Um, so that's what that is for. And I also carry these uh, sticks that I, I love for sealing up bags uh, that keeps things from keeps things fresh and keeps them from spilling. I think they're better than those little clips that you that we also use. And these come in the four different sizes. I have talked about these before and I will I'll have a link below in this video for those. Um, but I also keep in the drawers, so we have three drawers in our, in our pleasure way, in the, the ascent. I keep a, a thing of, of plastic wrap, some aluminum foil, and then an assort, uh, a bag of ba a box of bags. This is an assorted box. These wouldn't fit inside, but I have different sizes, Ziploc bags, uh, and larger bags. So that's worked out really well. And then I also have, uh, an extra roll of bags for our trash, but I just found, so this is our trash container that sits on the, on the edge of the, the drawer. Uh, and we also have one in the bathroom, works really well. This, I just found these at, uh, there's a DIY store in, uh, up in South Lake Tahoe and in one in Mammoth. And I was looking at their bag selection because these are four gallon and they're, I don't know, they're not very robust. I found this, so a DIY, DIY store is kind of like an Ace Hardware, right? so they may be available Ace. This one's for a, it's for a product called a trash rack. And I saw it and I thought, well, that might, that might fit our trash thing really well. So I will look for, the, for these online. If I can find them, I will put a link below. But I really, I like these much better. They are, they're heavier. And they're also uh, longer. So these are, this is five gallons and the old ones are four gallons. So I'm going to um, find a source for these. Okay, that is, oh, one more thing. Two more things, no, a few more things. <laughs> so just like in every kitchen, everybody has a, like a junk drawer. Well, I have a junk tray this is my junk tray. I need to go through this before we head out again. And because there's a lot of crap in here that I don't need. And so this is where I put little odds and ends, um, extra batteries and, uh, you know, markers, things like that. But I also keep a little container for uh, command hooks. So I have uh, like, oh, I also have Velcro type hook things and the command hooks. And I also keep, really important, I keep, I keep the um, rubber bands. These come in really handy. So I keep those. 
The other thing I always carry is scotch tape, or as my Scottish daughter-in-law would say, cella tape. They would never call it scotch tape over there. So I keep a I keep a roll of that, and that comes in really handy. In fact, I just used some on here because the box ripped. <laughs> okay, that is it in the kitchen type thing, and um, the last thing I will show you is the. I'll put everything back and um, show you that, and then I think that's it. And of course I forgot something. I also carry a couple of kitchen towels. So I've got those two. I carry, I, I picked up this cutting board. It's really uh, thin because I wanted to be able to fold it like this. So when you chop something like an onion, you can then uh, put it in your pan without spilling it. Um, I also have this uh, kind of a drying mat. You can pick these up just about anywhere. And the reason is the some t we've we've had this happen a couple of times where we've forgotten to turn off the water pump, or maybe we were using the water and we accidentally knocked this. And so this will pick up any kind of water that happens to uh, spill. And then I also forgot the kitchen uh, cleaning kind of stuff that we take, and I have not clean this. <laughs> but we carry obviously soap, a uh, sponge, kind of a, a, a scrubby sponge. I carry soft scrub because it has bleach in it. Uh, a cleaning, you know, something long for cleaning our coffee type stuff. And then another scrubby thing. And I found this, I wish it fit perfectly, but I found this little uh, tray somewhere or other, I think online. And it has, let's see if I can do this with one hand does have these little arms that, that pull out like that. Uh, so you could actually could actually do it this. No, I can't do it that way. Okay. So anyway, it doesn't fit perfectly, but I wanted something that I can slip in there. And then when I'm cleaning, I can just quickly take the whole thing out and put it on the floor or whatever. And then I put my cover back on. So that I think does it. And of course, paper towels. <laughs> Keep the paper towels up there. Anyway, I think that does it. And now I'll show you everything packed together. There's the top drawer with the utensils and the junk, knives. Down here I have all my spices and the cups and I have lots of extra space that I was surprised when I put this back together. I had much more space. And I've got my blender, the foils, all that sort of stuff, my command hooks, matches, all that junk. And I have a little bit more space. I could probably squeeze something else in there. So usually I keep my towels down here. And that is it on that on the three drawers. And then over here is here are all the pots and pans. So I've got the instant pot down here that I I kept the styrofoam that came it came with and cut it down so I could use it uh, because I needed a flat surface so I could stack the plates. And then I have the small cast iron pan, the Duro Durotherm, some paper plates and things, more containers, the fry pan because I took the panel off. The fry pan fits there and I don't know what it's focusing on. Fry pan fits <laughs> back here. Sorry if it's out of focus. Um, and then the kettle and the measuring cups way in the back. So I think that's, oops. And then forgot, I need to show you the microwave. And then the microwave, all my extra storage. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for the question. And if anyone else has anything else they want to know about the van or how we use the van or whatnot, please put it below. And I really appreciate you watching. Thank you.